hello guys and welcome back and today we're taking a good long look at dsm7 that's right the new dsm platform from synology and we're looking at the full desktop interface here with all lots of improvements since the last time we saw it around about a month ago now from here we can see once again that top bar is completely gone and we've got that nice snappy feel of it let's refresh that page and see how quickly this device will reboot that graphical user inter interface for us and we can see we're straight back here onto that desktop now there are lots of improvements that we've already talked about a few times so first and foremost let's go straight into the storage manager from here we can see that the new breadcrumb layout and one screen appeal of the new storage manager in dsm7 from synology now we can see lots of drives here this is the demo unit they've got it installed on this is a ds3617xs for those that are wondering no this isn't the follow-up to that from here, we can have a look at those individual storage pools and information is presented far, far more um, readily to you with all the nice tabs here at the top to flick us through things. Um, I wish I had the old version of DSM readily available for you so we could see the comparison. Now, actually, we might be able to bring it up here in the background and I can show you what the old storage manager looked like. So if we use this one here in the background, we'll load up that storage manager. You can already see the speed difference in between how long it's taking to open a number of these app windows by comparison. But if we move that tab over here, we can have a look at the new and the old storage manager. This is the new one. As you can see straight away, the overview between them is a little similar. There's definitely more information being made readily available on the newer version of DSM. This is the old one here. And if we compare it against it, They've definitely gone for a much more informative design, but with the added inclusion that you have got a lot more stuff on screen that you can interact with. If we go to the storage area of both of these, we can look at the storage pools of both. And again, for, in terms of Synology's output, I'm very much surprised that this design stayed around for as long as it has. Because on the screen here, as you can see, there's a lot of words and not a lot of graphics. And that's something Synology isn't hugely famous for. Whereas in this new version, they're all here and a lot of the tabs have been moved across the top rather than asking you to flick between them on the side. Now, if we go into the individual drives on the old version, we can see there's a couple of SSDs in this build and they've got the tabs at the top. They're more to do with background stuff. If we have a look here, we can have a look how they're listed and from here, we can see a lot more information about them. This is a lot similar, a lot more similar to the previous design of the storage manager. But once again, the response time seems a whole lot quicker and overall, I quite like the new storage manager and I think a lot of people that aren't very technically versed aren't gonna enjoy it too. Now let's move on to next, let's look at the file manager. If we move into the file station application here and we open up the file station application in the predecessor, we can see how they compare. First and foremost, we can see the new version. Let's test those opening speeds, shall we? Let's click that, test that one more, one more time of the screen. Click File Station, and we're open. Where we go to the new one, click File Station. And I would say they're relatively similar, but I'm still gonna give the edge to DSM. I know, shocking. Now, it, it just seems a lot cleaner. And you can see, obviously, Office from Synology is already pre-installed. And we've got those folders there stacked onto the left. But overall, it does seem a little bit cleaner. I'm not sure if we can activate the night mode on this device that we've talked about in previous videos. But as you can see here, that is the new file station. It's very similar to that of Mac or maybe even Android design. If we minimize that, get rid of file station, we can look at that resource monitor, shall we? We open up the resource monitor and this is gonna be the new and improved resource monitor from Synology. If we go to the old version here, resource monitor, and we can see how they compare. Now, if we go here, we can break things down a little bit. It is still a cleaner like layout here. If we look at the task manager under the resource monitor, this is where I'm hoping we'll see differences. Now, I don't know if this is the new version that we're going to see, but I would argue we're seeing some nice stuff here. And on top of that, it is definitely still being fantastically more responsive overall comparing the two together. Now, performance alarms, I believe is a new area. Oh no, it's not. We've still got the performance alarms here. And I think right now, resource monitor on this particular version of DSM isn't quite at its tip-top form in time for release. So in the spirit of fairness, I think we should back away from that, but hopefully that's given you some idea about that new resource monitor overall. 
Now if we look about some of these, we can take a good look at Synology Photos, which is obviously going to open in a brand new tab there in the background. And why not we can look at some of these things like Sound Manager and the Package Center might be worth a good look too. Now if we let Synology Photos open up there in the background, we can have a look if Synology Photos is here, and of course it isn't, it's a DSM app as I understand at this time. But if we go to the Package Center there, we can see if there's any difference between them. That's Synology Photos there in the background and we can go to that album's design there we've got a very a lot of similarity here between moments and if we carry on here to the top we can change to the folder display that those of you that are more used to photo station will probably be a lot more familiar with and of course if we do go back to the um, initial moments type display we can have a look and maybe conduct some of those searches so let's have a look at the tags so look there we're not going to get tags out of that go into people instead as we can see there's lots of people there and for those that have used moments before it's pretty familiar territory overall and again there's those applications that we saw in the old package center and if we look at the new package center we can have a look and see if there's anything new in those beta packages there's nothing new extra there we can look at the applications that have been pre-installed but overall the applications do seem quite similar. I'm going to scroll through these in case there's something you guys spot that I don't. But if we close down that package center, we can carry on looking into other areas of this app. Now, moving forward, there's our layout of the applications as seen in the old DSM 6.2. And here we've got all of these laid out along here. Now, there are applications that we've talked about in other videos, such as Active Insight, but that we've improvements to Active Directory, or Active Directory Server, as it's now known, we are looking at more and more things getting added to this application. If we open up the Synology Drive application, maybe even find out which version that we're running here, we can have a quick look to see if we can have a play with the new Synology Drive 3.0. So have a look here, see if it's the right one or not. Let's have a look at which version of this we're running. So have a look, we've got Synology Drive Server, I'm not sure if that's the right one. Have a quick look, come out there and go into it. Now for those that have used Synology Drive, it's worth mentioning that it was already being um, told to us that Synology Drive's client application for Mac will support, um, hopefully in early 2020 in DSM-7, the file pinning and file on demand streaming that a lot of Windows users have been enjoying recently. Synology Drive uh, client for Windows has already got that due to Synology's partnership um, and you know collaboration with Windows and their on-demand services. But I'm going to wrap things up here for DSM 7. We've got a bunch of other stuff to talk about today. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you've got any questions, oh, we've still got DSM help as well. Um, then do let me know in the comments. But I'm going to wrap things up here. Thank you so much for watching. Click like, subscribe if you enjoyed it. And click the bell to be notified for more information. I'm going to end here on DSM help. And I'll see you next time.